What is going on guys? Chatty CRC back with you here. And I didn't really know this until today. I follow this stuff pretty close, but I was checking YouTube and it looks like uh, Google is going to be getting rid of all Chrome apps. In fact, if you go to the App Store right now and click on apps, type in Betaflight, nothing comes up. So what they have done is they are going to release a version of Betaflight Configurator with a whole new numbering system and everything else for Windows, PC, everything, Macs, all that, Linux, all that stuff. So I wanted to go to the GitHub and check it out. I haven't been there a while since the RC candidates for 3.2 were out. And I wanted to just make sure that everything would install correctly and that it would recognize my craft and all that stuff because I know on Windows machines with the virtual COM ports and everything, it's sometimes just a pain in the butt. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And it is a big hang up for a lot of people that start in this hobby. I remember selling a Vortex to somebody, my Vortex Mini, like four or five months ago and he could not even get it hooked up to beta flight he couldn't get it to to recognize the the port and i tried talking him through certain things and different videos and everything else i just ended up selling it so put the link in the description i went to the github and downloaded the mac version because i am running a mac and Everything installed beautifully into the applications just like you would expect because everything just works on Mac and the final test as far as plugging in a quad plugged it in boom recognized it was able to go through and verify all the stuff is still there in the configurator as you can see here went and checked uh, the firmware flasher to see if it had what kind of uh, updates it has on it and it updated with the all the way to 3.2.3 as the stable version on here so the biggest downside I guess is that going with this new configurator 10.0.0 is that it's not going to be backwards compatible with older beta flight versions so if a new version of beta flight comes out you're always going to have to stay up on the configurator and keep re-downloading it from the repository until they actually fix or implement a code to tell that to auto update or to tell you to update it um, so this is a uh, one thing that's working for Mac the other thing that concerns me is the BL heli configurator and I do have a Windows laptop but having that Google Chrome app is just really freaking handy for the BL Heli configurator. Betaflight, yeah, whatever, I can do everything on screen and stuff, but I can't do that stuff with BL Heli. So I really hope that they're working on something with that. So, and as you can see on the screen here, just going through, checking things out and all that. But Mac world, no problem. Everything just works. Your Google Chrome app will still continue to work until sometime. See you later.